everybody. Welcome to the group. My name is Katie Blanchard and I am a Schroth Method Physical Therapist. And today what we're going to go over is the Schroth Sideline Exercise for Thoracic Right Left Lumbar Scoliosis Curves. So as you can see on my board over here, I have written down T right L left. That is the curve pattern that we are talking about and that we are going to talk about all week. So if you are on here live, please put in the comments below the word live so that I know you're on here. And if you're on the replay, please comment below the word replay so that I know people are tuning in and that we are on the right track of giving the things that you guys need, want, and that will help you now that you're in the group. Okay, so let's review before we start going that T right L left curve type. So here's what an x-ray of that kind of curve looks like. Okay, so we have the heart on the left side, the curve goes to the right at the top in the thoracic spine and to the left on the bottom in the lumbar spine. So before doing any of these exercises, make sure that your curve or your child's curve fits this pattern. Otherwise, if you start doing this with a different type of curve pattern or the opposite curve pattern, we can actually make your scoliosis worse. So make sure you have that T right L left before trying anything. And then just another disclaimer, something about this group, you know, I'm giving you guidance, um, but this does not replace medical advice. So if you want Schroth, um, consult your doctor before doing any exercise, and the best care you're going to get is going to be from getting your child's spine assessed one-on-one -on -one directly by a Schroth physical therapist, whether that be in person or virtually, but just make sure that their curve is assessed individually so that they can get the best care. Awesome. So let's go through the sideline exercise. For this exercise, you're going to need two bean bags and a stool. So I have that over here. And we're going to go over just the positioning portion first. Okay? So I explained in my last video these bean bags. Um, use them for a lot of shroff exercises. They are from happysew.com if you want to get them. They come in fun colors and sizes. These are the small size. Um, for smaller kids, get the extra small kind. Um, extra small would actually be fine for me as well. And I have my nice cheetah print ones. So, positioning on the side for a T right L left. You always want to, for this side lying exercise, lay on the left side. Okay, so the positioning you're going to put these two bean bags underneath the lumbar curve, the left low back, and then lay on your left side like this. Okay? And then we're going to put your arm straight up like this on the top. Okay? So what is that positioning doing? Let me show you on the x-ray. So if I bring my x-ray back, so you have your right side curve, left side. So if we lay on our left side here, this is what the x-ray now looks like. So the right sided curve is going upwards on the top and the left one's downwards. So we're taking the bean bags and putting them underneath this lower curve to push it upwards. And good thing about kids is their spines are flexible. So we can move the spine just by propping bean bags underneath that low back. So let me show you. Same concept using my bendy ruler here. So if I grab my bean bags and this is what looking at it from behind a right sided thoracic left-sided lumbar curve looks like. Obviously exaggerated. A lot of your kids' curves are not this big. But for demonstration point, this is what it's going to look like, okay? And so if we put that curve on its side, we want the thoracic curve on the right being here and the lumbar going here. So we're going to put two bean bags underneath the left low back, which is going to push this lower curve upwards like this so that the spine is straighter in the low back. And then with this pushed up, gravity is going to act to push downwards on that upper thoracic curve to push it down and potentially straighten it this way. So that's the whole concept. Gravity is acting on the upper thoracic curve to push it downward 
and the bean bags are pushing the lower curve upwards to straighten the spine. Okay, so only lay on the left side for this exercise. If you lay on the right, it could make the scoliosis worse. So that's very important, left side only. Okay, so now, once you're in that position, we're going to do the same Schroth breathing that I've been teaching you. Remember, we're talking about expanding the rib cage, especially for this type of curve, into the left upper back because that's the concave side of the curve. So in that position, you're breathing in through the nose, expanding the rib cage, and then breathing out through the mouth, keeping it wide and expanded. And then when you run out of breath, you relax. So this is what the exercise is going to look like. Perfect. And we got Robin on here. Thanks for watching, Robin. If you're hopping on, please comment below with any questions as we go. All right. So these are underneath my left-sided low back curve. I lay on top of them to lift that curve up. We want that right underneath the apex of the curve or the largest point of that low back curve. The left arm is out, palm down. And then the top arm is up, widening the back. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. So this is my positioning. Now in this position, I'm gonna do Schroth breathing. But with the breath out, I'm gonna do two different movements. The first movement, I'm gonna push this upper arm that looks like a chicken wing and push my shoulder blade down and forward. So the upper shoulder kind of comes back and my lower shoulder blade pushes forward. And what that's going to do is push the right sided prominence of scoliosis forward in that thoracic spine. So the upper movement looks like this in through your nose. Keep it big and expanded. Breathe out. and I feel pressure at the bottom of my shoulder blade, pushing that prominence forward as I go. Now the second movement, as I breathe out, is gonna to be to slightly lift this top leg up and reach it towards my Schroth bars this way. So moving it away from me. And what that is gonna do is stretch this QL muscle this way and help pull my curve that is curving downwards up towards center. So the second part of the movement looks like this. In through your nose, rib cage is big and expanded, breathe out. So see how I slightly lift, it's not a huge lift. And then I'm reaching towards the bars like this. So it's just a tiny, tiny little movement. That way as I breathe out. Now we put those two movements together. So moving and pushing the lower shoulder blade forward. You can also think about opening up the armpit and keeping the armpit facing forward. I tell a lot of my younger kids, you have stinky armpits and you want to air them out. So we never want to close the armpit up or let the elbow drop. Stinky armpit, air it out. Okay? So combining pushing that lower shoulder blade forward, armpit open, with our upper leg lifting and reaching towards the bars. So all together, it looks like this. In through your nose, expanded ribcage, breathe out. Nice and long. I'm not letting my ribcage collapse until I run out of breath and then I relax and reset. Okay, so those are the two main movements as I breathe out and perform my Schroth breathing. All right, any questions this far? I'm also gonna lay the other way so that you guys can see what my lower shoulder blade is doing from behind. Awesome, okay. So let me show you that, and then we're gonna add our stool because we've talked about lumbar or thoracic expansion and elongation. So expansion and elongation as the two Schroth concepts, we're gonna add a third today, a third is um, muscle activation. So that's where the stool is gonna come in. All right, so let me show you from behind and then we will add the stool. So again, I'm gonna lay on my left side only and I'm gonna put those bean bags underneath my lower curve.
like this. So palm down, lower arm long, and then one knee bent underneath, one on top, straight, and then my shoulder blade with elbow high and armpit open. Let me move my hair so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so you're gonna breathe in, expand the rib cage, breathe out, pushing this part, my lower shoulder blade, this way, forward through the body to push the prominence forward, okay? So again, let's show you again. In through the nose, Expand the rib cage, breathe out, lower shoulder blade forward. Lift and reach that top right leg. So both of those movements together. All right, now let's add muscle activation. So we're gonna add our stool as we go. So here's my stool. I'm gonna be on my left side again. And then the only thing I'm gonna do Instead of having my arm up in this chicken wing position, I'm gonna put my hand flat on top of the stool. And then the third thing I'm gonna add, so as I'm breathing out, I'm pushing the lower shoulder blade forward. I'm lifting that top leg and reaching it. I'm also gonna push down and put pressure onto the stool. And that's gonna cause all of my muscles of my shoulder blade to activate and contract. And that's gonna help further derotate the spine open up the rib cage and push the right prominence forward. So what that looks like here, I'm on my left again. My hand's gonna go underneath the stool. My head is next to the stool. Hand up on top of the edge of the stool like this and elbow high. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. So now I'm breathing in, expanding the rib cage, keeping it big and expanded. Same pressure at the bottom of the shoulder blade and lifting the leg, but now I'm pushing downwards this way into the stool, which is gonna help keep my elbow high and push the shoulder blade forward. So final performance of exercise looks like this. In through your nose, long on the way out. Okay, so for this one, what I recommend is doing four sets of five breaths. And you really wanna go as slow as you can um, so that you focus on that rib cage expansion as you breathe. And again, that's the most important concept of any of these strap exercises. So go back to the beginning, practice just the breathing before you implement any of these things. Alrighty, perfect. So it looks like we have some questions. Let me see if I can address those for you. All right, so can you clarify if this would work for lumbar only or do you have to have the two curves together? Very good question, Kara. So if you only have a lumbar curve, so say you only have a left-sided lumbar curve, take out the upper right, then you'd only do the bottom half of the exercise. So you're gonna lift that top leg and reach it towards the bar, but then you can either put your hand on your hip or just keep your hand up in general here and not include pushing the shoulder blade. So what that one would quickly look like for you, Kara, just a left-sided lumbar curve. We'll get rid of the stool. Put two bean bags underneath the left side to lift that left curve upward. And then top leg straight, bottom leg bent, hand on your hip. You're just gonna breathe in, breathe out, and then reach towards the bar. And you can kind of push downwards on this hip to further that stretch of the QL muscle, this muscle in the back here, that's helping to pull that curve towards center. All right, yeah, I hope that answers your question for you, Carol. All right, and then another question. Robin says, you're on your left side. Correct. Yes, so for this curve type, you're always gonna lay on your left, okay? Because gravity's pushing the upper right side of curve downwards, and you're using the bean bags to push the lower lumbar curve upwards. Okay, so I hope that answers your question as well, Robin. Awesome. So 
I hope that helps. That is the Schroth Sideline Shoulder Counter Traction Plus Muscle Cylinder Exercise. So that's the whole name of the exercise in medical terms, so kind of complicated. But I just call it the Schroth Sideline Exercise. Okay, so my challenge to you is try this, set it up, take a picture of either yourself or your child in this setup of the position, and I will give you some feedback if you just message me the photo or the video that I'm doing the exercise, and I'll voice message you back with any advice that I have. Awesome. If this was valuable, please put in the comments below the word valuable so that I know we're on the right track for the group. Um, and again, if you have questions, direct message me and I can help you out. Awesome. All right, so the next time I will see you guys is gonna be tomorrow. Um, and we will go through our third Schroth exercise for this curve pattern, the T right, L left pattern of the week. Awesome. Okay, so everybody have a good night and happy Wednesday.